What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Chrono Trigger, Flames of Eternity. Yes, it's about time to start playing this again. Uh, I got uh, the other emulator, um, I guess because the game suggested me to. See how that uh, works out here. What the hell is this? But yeah, and the last time we, uh, or last time we went through Dalton's dungeon, stuff like that, uh, got through it all. And now we're ready to face Dalton, apparently. What the hell? What was he, like, writing his own book? Oh, here we go. <laughs> These games are over. Alright, uh, should I do Piccolo? Or should I do Vegeta as a... Uh, Whoa! As a uh, Magus. Ha! Yeah, that's right. Ha! Interesting. Huh. Alright then. Uh, let's see. Y'all keep doing, uh, Piccolo's voice on. Shall we? Let's do it. Whoa! Yo! Dalton was never this powerful! That's still weak. Uh, huh. Damn. Huh. His device, huh? Wow. Now, oh, some of the dialogue in this game is pretty awkward. Shaw. I guess it's gonna reflect on all the things that's happened to him. Hmm. Oh man, is this, this is before, uh, or this is when we went here in the original game, it looks like. There's Janus, there's Magus, there's Janus. Huh. Ha <laughs> ha! That's awesome. Give him something to keep quiet. Use magic, you don't use, you don't have any healing magic though. Huh. Hmm. Oh, so I guess this is him when he's with uh, Ozzy and stuff. Cool. Huh. Interesting. He becomes king of the mystics, apparently. That actually looks quite cool. Ha! <laughs> oh, here, here, here he is with the, uh... When, uh... We come here. I'm afraid I can't allow that. Your meddling tires me. You'll just have to disappear. Hmm? Even Alphador objects. <laughs> okay, I'll spare them. And I'm trying to use Ocean Dub uh, Piccolo because that's the best voice for him. Must it end like this? I mean, they have. I guess the Funimation Dub is the same pretty much, but whatever. Oh, hey! Goes back to Chrono and Marley and Luca. What? What? Luca, what are you do what are you three doing here? Rebel, where are we? Oh ho! It's most interesting. Ah, it's Belthasar. Cool. Oh yeah, because yeah, so we're in the future. This is like after we beat Lavos in 1999. So I guess Robo is here. Huh. Interesting. That is correct. Or er, I can't do a uh, Let's see, Robert, Le uh, what his name is, Crichton, Robert Llewellyn from Red Dwarf. I'm just gonna try and do, try to do that for uh, Robo, that kind of voice. Huh. Ah, interesting. Oh yeah, because it's a separate timeline. Yeah. Wow. All right. So this is neat. Hey, Robo. 
I'm pleased to see you again, Luca, Chrono, and Marley. I'm sorry we can't celebrate this right now. Or, this right now, though. As I must keep the eye on the computers. We'll talk later after the visit. Then, er, we'll talk after the visit then. God damn, can I read today? Ha <laughs> ha! I have so many things to tell you. Chronopolis, huh? Whoa! Cool! Huh, interesting. Well, yeah, I guess science would have replaced it, or technology would have replaced magic by now. Huh! Into this room. Oh, the, the Neo Epoch. What? Wow, yeah, I could see that. Atropos? Hey! Huh. That's cool. See, the thing is, how are the how all these people remember each other? Like, wouldn't Robo be like, yo, who the hell are you guys? Because the, the future was changed. I mean... But I guess 2300 still happened, but... I mean, doesn't... I mean, like, isn't the thing was... There's, isn't there a thing where, like, you go back in time and it creates a separate timeline? So how would this even make sense? I mean, whatever. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, and I think, it, didn't it break? I don't remember. I don't remember, I don't remember what happened last time we were, this, we were with these three. Hmm. Temporal catch? Huh. What? Damn. I guess I should. Uh, alright then. Uh, cool. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, talk to some of these people here. El Nido C. Yeah, so this is kind of like Chrono Cross. Alright, let's uh, look up our. Let's uh. Check up on our players here. Yeah, so we could yeah, we got the silver stud in the last area, that's right. We have a black rock too. Yeah, as you can tell our uh, weapons and armor are pretty bad, so yeah, that's okay though. I guess we've gotten weaker. Ha! <laughs> That's good stuff. All right, let's see here. Here's Robo. I'm pleased to see you again. Oh yeah, okay. All right, all right. So we'll check in with him later, I suppose. And yeah, we still. All right, so we got Star Tropics here. We got Star Tropics stuff. We got to talk to everybody. Let's go ahead and uh, save there. Title's Double Trouble. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Can I go down? Ah, oh, yeah, nice. Alright, I guess I can. Cool. What are you... Huh. Okay, was this where everyone lives and stuff? Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Alright, then. Yeah? Uh, no, we're good. Let's see what's in here. Aha! Milk here! So, Huh. Uh, what? That's Dreamstone, isn't it? Okay. What? How's... Huh. How, how is this stuff like Dreamstone just like kind of like growing everywhere? Oh yeah, Power Glove, that's pretty nice. Chronopolis News Up, this plane. Oh, huh. Red Joria and Pore, the Comet Islands. Huh. New Dorino, huh? Interesting. Huh. This is like a little news update. Oh, it did. Oh, it's the Mother Brain. It's like the new Mother Brain. Huh. 
Okay. Huh. Ah. Uh, okay, cool. I guess the Mother Brain is, like, good in this game. Yeah, who owns Chronopolis? Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, that's right, because that's, uh, yeah, that's where it was in Chrono Cross. Wow, so this is like, this is almost like a direct sequel to Chrono Trigger, but it's also like a, uh, it's almost like a supplement to Chrono Cross. This is interesting. Huh. That is so weird. There's dream more Dreamstone. Huh, yeah. All oh, right. Eh. Hmm. Ah. Wow, this is really impressive. What a bright center. So much technology. I can do a lot with this stuff. I guess this is Gasper. Yeah, it is. All right. Ah. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, let's head back up to Belthasar. Yeah, I guess it's like a, it's like Star Tropics where you gotta talk to everybody before you can move on. What the hell? Yo! That's the guy. That That's that guy. That was that Poirier agent, wasn't it? What is he doing here? And how did he get here? No idea. But well, we better stop him. He must be up to something. Going up! Talk as Goku as much as I can. As Chrono. I don't know if I can do that. Alright, let's go ahead and save before anything happens here. Where'd he go? Oh no. No, 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 no. What the hell, dude? He's gonna use the ditch pass chamber. Now, if we stop him. Yeah, I guess all of us are gonna use the ditch pass chamber now. Or about the solver stuck. Oh, well, at least it's set to our own time. Haha! <laughs> Alright then. Cool. Yes, yeah, so now instead of gates, we're using like different methods of type time travel. Yeah, let's take them down. What the hell? What the hell? Got based on the coast, that's be it. Chrono, it's gonna move on. Alright. Sorry, I skipped through all the other talking there. So yeah, now we gotta go through, I guess, uh, now we gotta get to Pore, apparently. And yeah, we actually have to go through Fiona's Forest. It's an actual dungeon in this game, yes. Uh, but I'll be exploring that next time on Chrono Trigger Flames of Eternity. So glad I'm doing this again. Sorry it took so long for me to update this, but, uh, I decided to get the other emulator because it'd be better off. So, anyways, yeah. So we'll be exploring this place later on. Next time, yeah. This is the big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.